Morning everyone. Today is Wednesday. The girls are working on their schoolwork. Well, not schoolwork, uh, summer work. Um, and I have done dishes. We have picked up the living room and I'm going to do some of the laundry folding that we did not do last night that we said that we were going to do because I'd like to start getting caught up on our laundry. We'll see if that ever happens because I don't like doing laundry. Who likes doing laundry? If you like doing laundry, please let me know. And what do you do to make it enjoyable? Here, Emily's working on skip counting. I'm doing by fours, and I never did that before. They're getting ready for me for calculating. No, 17. no, 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 look. This one's not by fours. This one's by six. They tell you what number they started with here. They're not only getting you, they're not only having you practice skip counting, but they're also having you get ready for multiplication because you're going to be starting multiplication next week. Really? Not next week, but next year in third grade. Really? Yes. I'm going to miss the CA. I'm not going to be like, like he's not saying this he at lunchtime walking in. Yeah, I know. This is going to be the first year that you guys aren't going to be in the same building. So the girl, our school district, they have it split up that um, pre-K through second grade is in two different buildings and then third through fifth is in one building and then from fifth grade they go to the middle school which is attached to the high school. Um, they did this so that they could close down some of the buildings and not have as many buildings. Um, you know, we saw a big decrease in our school taxes for the first couple of years that they did this. And we saw like a 2% increase um, last year and I think this year too. But th it's really small. Personally, I would have liked to have seen them use the money that they'd be saving from having reduced the number of school buildings and put it into the existing, the buildings that they're going to be using regularly, then reducing how many how much taxes we pay in schools but that's just me personally um i can't speak for everybody else so what are you working on she's doing math too she's finding the missing numbers right yeah i had those two of the same thing oh that's okay it's practice right <laughs> but the 20 was printed so how are you doing you don't look very happy no, I Uh, my ones, tens, and fives. No, you can count by anything. Wait, what? Yes. Gosh. You can count by ones if I want to. Well, you could, but you're counting by sixes. Uh, I'm okay. double counting by So six. all you're, you're doing exactly what you did with the fours. You're just adding six to whatever number. So, so six plus six is... Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. Nine. No, six. You're adding six to six. So seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. No, that was four. Oh, yeah. So you're counting up. So you're adding six to six. You've been adding four to six. Okay. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. There you go. That's difficult. No, it's not. Eighteen, twenty-four. So. Hey everyone, so it's after lunchtime and we're getting ready to do our art project for the day. Um, we're going to use, we're going to be doing uh, this kit. Um, Emily and Melody picked the peacock and I'm doing the iguana. The iguana doesn't seem like there's too many details that need to be added to it. But, you know, it seems like fun. Um, so we're about ready to get started. Now I did grab, now the directions did say that you could use glue for more stability. I don't know if we'll end up using it, we'll see. Um, so we're just gonna start. So now these have the little peel stickers. So ladies, you're just gonna peel your sticker and- Stick it on there? I got the only thing that doesn't have a sticker looks like is this. Well yeah, it just sits on, on her though. <laughs>
the kids did enjoy doing the foam animals. Um, they had a hard time putting the feet through the little holes. But besides that, I think they did a great job. Here's the iguana that I made. I think he's adorable. I really do. And here's Emily's uh, a completed version. Except we did not use the tissue paper. Um, but, you know, I think that they're really cute and the girls had fun. Now, next week, we are going to be doing this kit. Uh, the plate, the little plates come in it, which I think is cool. So we don't have to do any painting. Uh, and maybe this one will go better than this one. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. So yeah, make sure you catch next week's video. I think it'll be posted on Thursday. We'll do our art projects on Wednesday. I think that's a good because then we have somewhat of a schedule. See you guys later. And remember, if you like our content, be sure to subscribe, drop us a comment and a like.